In recent news, it seems that OpenAI has launched the full training run of GPT-5, its latest and most advanced AI model. In this video, we will explore the details of this new model and what it means for the future of artificial intelligence. We will delve into the insights gathered from various sources and provide a practical tip for utilizing GPT-5 effectively. So, let's dive in. OpenAI follows a systematic approach when training its models. They start with smaller models to gather insights and then proceed to the full training run. This allows them to scientifically predict and understand the resulting system. It is worth noting that OpenAI has already trained smaller versions of GPT-5, which provides them with valuable information about its capabilities. GPT-5 is expected to have enhanced reasoning abilities compared to its predecessors. OpenAI aims to incorporate a mechanism that allows GPT-5 to lay out its reasoning steps before solving a challenge. Each of these steps will be checked internally or externally, leading to improved reliability and understanding of the model's thought process. In a recent interview, OpenAI Samman mentioned that AI systems should be able to explain their reasoning in natural language, similar to how humans explain their thought processes. This capability will enable users to evaluate the reasoning steps and determine their validity. GPT-5 is expected to have around 10 times the parameter count of GPT-4, which was estimated to have 1.5 to 1.8 trillion parameters. The increase in parameters will allow for more granular training and deeper pattern recognition. OpenAI aims to achieve this by combining a larger embedding dimension, more layers, and double the number of experts. Recently, Sam Altman was the guest in the Bill Gates' Unconfused Me podcast, where he talked a lot about the next-generation model. According to Altman, the next-generation model would likely be fully multimodal with support for videos, code, speech, and images. He said they got a great response from images and audio features. And now they will eventually integrate deeper video capabilities. Altman told Bill Gates that these models will have a steep improvement curve for the next 5 to 10 years. Currently, the AI models are not reliable. He gave an example to explain it. He said that if we ask GPT-4 most questions 10,000 times, one of those answers will be pretty good. However, GPT-4 often cannot always identify which one is the best. So, that's the reliability improvement that is important to tackle now. Besides that, Altman highlighted another notable improvement. For example, the ability to customize how the AI acts, responds, and solves problems. As for GPT-4, users intend to have different styles of responses along with different assumptions when responding. So, the upcoming models will make that all possible and even support the use of your data. On June 7, 2023, Sam Altman told The Economic Times that they had plenty of work to do before GPT-5 and mentioned that they were not close to it. Later, in November 2023, Altman told the Financial Times that GPT-5 is in the early development stage. However, he also mentioned that they need more investment, especially from Microsoft, to build it. GPT-5 will need more processing power and data than ever before. The training of data alone requires months if not years. On top of that, OpenAI wants to make GPT-5 more reliable and advanced than GPT-4. Therefore, the exact release date of GPT-5 is not confirmed so far. GPT-5 is currently in the development phase. So it won't be released anytime soon. Some are anticipating that it will be released in 2024, but nothing is officially confirmed. So, we have to wait for some more time until we get more clarification from OpenAI.